Hey, what is up, guys? It's Take a Shot here, and today I'm doing a Zombies Live Com on Verruckt. This is uh, the Black Ops 1 version. Uh, all of the old World at War maps, if you don't recall, came in the last DLC for this game, as well as uh, the map Moon. So if you like Zombies, that's a great uh, DLC to pick up, by the way, because you don't get any multiplayer maps. They're all just Zombies. I wish Black Ops 2 would do something uh, like that because I don't really like the multiplayer on that game. But the mo the zombies can be kind of fun, so if they just offer, you know, all all the zombies maps, uh, I would do that. But uh, they don't, so I don't. <laughs> um, but anyways, yeah, uh, this map is pretty hard um, because well you can't really train the zombies there's a couple like pro spots that you know like crazy zombie players uh, do but they're they're really really hard to do and frankly uh, I'm just not that good so whatever round I happen to get to is just what I'm gonna post because uh, you know like I said this map is really hard and kinda when I play some of the other maps that I play in these live commentaries, I do feel like I need to challenge myself a little bit, like, you know, using bad guns or, you know, making a little bit poorer decisions than I normally would because I don't really want, you know, to be like a 20 episode long thing of me getting to like round 40 something. Um, you know, I, I just don't really want to do that personally, but um, on this map, that is not going to be a problem because I'm going to die very quickly. Um, usually the strategy in multiplayer is this, in this map, is to camp, like, in a corner or something, and then just, you know, shoot the zombies and hold them off with your guns as long as you can. But, um, yeah, I'm, I'm just one man. <laughs> I'm solo here, so, oh my god, I'm getting disoriented. But, um, yeah, so I can't, I can't do that, so it's pretty hard to, you know, basically hold off. And I don't really know what to do other than just buy traps and, you know, run around and shoot zombies. So that's what I'm going to do. And uh, however high we happen to get uh, is how high we will we will get. And, um, yeah, do remember to, um, um, you know, leave a suggestion for what map I should play next. Um, I have all the maps except for Shangri-La on Black Ops 1 here. I don't have any of the... Uh, World at War DLCs, because, you know, I'm not going to buy a DLC for a really old hacked game, but, uh, you know, you, we can basically play them all on Black Ops 1, which is nice, and I have all the maps except for Origins and uh, Mob of the Dead on Black Ops 2, so I can play any, any ones but those, and, uh, and yeah, um, now, I know a lot of people like to see Kino, and I might do Kino, but if I do, it's I need some sort of challenge, because I can, I mean, not to brag or anything, because Kino is a really easy map, to be honest with you. Um, you know, I could get to, like, round 40-something easily, you know, on that map. It's not really, you know, it's, it's not a hard map. So, uh, if I was to do that, I don't want to make a really long you know series so I would I would need some sort of challenge basically to ensure that I will die within a few episodes pretty much uh, but anyways let's uh, focus more on the task at hand because we definitely don't need a challenge on this map we can we can die pretty good on our own and I'm really trying to be careful about zombies not sneaking up on me because I don't have my headset actually um, you know like the sound isn't actually playing through it right now because I basically can't when I'm recording. Um, so I have to try and listen to it through my television, even though I'm actually wearing it, so it's harder to hear. But uh, basically, <clears throat> if a zombie, you know, kills me from behind, don't laugh at me because I can't actually hear them. But normally I would sound horror, I'm like crazy. But uh, yeah. So, uh,. This map is pretty pretty tight, pretty tight corners, lots of stuff to get stuck on, and not really anywhere, like I said, that you can train them. I mean, here, it, it could be possible, but I mean, there's a window there, and there, and there, and then the stairs, and then this window here. You know, they just filled this, this room with windows, because they knew this was, like, the one spot that you could actually potentially train them, just so that you couldn't do that, so it's not really... 
I don't really know what what else to do other than just you know run around and you know use traps and, and kill the zombies, repair things. That's that's all, that's all I pretty much do. And uh, I, th I want to say my best. Oh my goodness! I just got trapped in a corner, and they just came from the stairs. So like I said, I mean it's not gonna. I will, I will just kill him. I don't want to die this early. But um. But yeah, I'm, I'm gonna die pretty soon, sooner rather than later, on this map. Uh, um, as I was saying, I think my best is like 24, and I was pretty proud of that. I was using the Winter's Howl I was lucky enough to get from the box, and, you know, basically I just spammed that uh, like crazy and used lots of traps, so. Um, this is the only spot I know of where it's like actually possible to train, but I can't actually do it But it involves like standing right here until they spawn and then you run around here and then you go in this room and Like go but be go between here. I, I don't it it's not actually gonna work if I tried But I have seen pro people, you know, make go to you know, whatever round they really want to as long as they're focused enough uh, By doing that strategy, but I'm not gonna do that strategy because I can't I'm a noob scrub, as you know, and there's a lot of zombies coming out of here. So I guess we'll, we'll do this little loop right here. And uh, yeah, basically I'm just trying to buy my way to the power as soon as possible so that I can get Juggernaut, because I did spawn on uh, the side of the map that doesn't have it. It doesn't really matter anyways because you have to turn on the power to get Juggernaut anyways. So, uh, yeah. And, um... Um... I do want to give a little tip on nukes. It's not relevant here. But, um, when you... Uh, this is the thing probably that annoys me the most about, you know, just like playing with people on on multiplayer is they always grab the nukes right away. Now I'm not a person, you know, I'm not going to be like, oh, why, you're stupid, why would you do that or something like that, you know. I don't really care that much, but I'm just saying, you know, people always complain about, you know, like you shooting their zombies or something like that, and they're like, wow, you're stealing my points um, and all that, but I, I think what they don't really realize is that when you grab a nuke, you're wasting a lot more of everyone's points than you know someone shooting a couple of your zombies I mean when you grab a nuke you're basically saying I want to trade all of the zombies on the map right now for 400 points you know all of the potential points I could have gotten from killing those zombies for 400 points which is probably a lot more than 400 points if you you know play your cards right even if you don't I mean if there's like four well you know three or four zombies then you could easily, you know, if you just kill them in any way, you can easily get more than, uh, more than, uh, 400 points. So, I'm, I'm just saying, like I said, it's, it's not that big of a deal to me, but you really are wasting a lot of points w if, when you grab it. So, usually, I'll just grab them, uh, in between rounds, it, because then they're not killing any zombies, and you're just, it's just a free 400 points, so there's no reason not to grab it then. Um... But, uh, or, you know, if, if you have a ton of points and you just want to speed things up, obviously you can grab the nukes then as well. That uh, definitely makes sense to do, but, um, you know, in, in these, you know, young rounds, like one and two, there's no reason to, uh, to do that, so. Just, just a friendly reminder, friendly pro tip. And, uh, I guess I'm just going to hit the box. I mean, we're, we probably want to buy the door, so I don't die, because that's looking like it's about to be the case. So, maybe that might be a good idea. But I, I would kind of like to just hold off as long as I can, and I feel like the round's almost over, but we're going to buy it, <laughs> so that I don't die. Jesus Christ, there's a lot of zombies. 